In this video, I'll show you how to buy cryptocurrency on Binance step by step. So if you are someone who always wants to buy cryptocurrency, but you are finding it difficult or you don't know where to start, this particular video is for you. Now, it's very important for you to pay attention to this video because if you want to buy crypto and you make a mistake, there are three things involved. It's either you lose your money or they cancel your account or they rather postpone your transactions. Let's say uh, if you are canceling, you try and cancel, try and cancel. They'll cancel you for the day and postpone it to another day. So you have to pay attention to this particular video so that you do it the right way. So to get started, first you need to create Binance account and you have to be verified as well. So if you don't have Binance account for now, after you are done with this video, I'll leave a step-by-step -step video in the description below that can help you to learn how to create a Binance account from scratch. So guys, to get started, the first thing you need is to open the Binance app. So once you open the Binance app, you will see a lot of things on the homepage. So just go ahead and tap on deposit. That is if you want to buy, you will see uh, buy crypto and all that. So you don't have to tap on any of this. If this is your first time, you want to do a deposit on the platform. So just tap on deposit. So if you tap on deposit, sometimes you will see only one, one option or sometimes only two options. So anytime you see any of these options, just see the one that says deposit or P2P trading. So for now, I'll tap on P2P trading. I can also tap on deposit to get started. Now, if I go in for the P2P trading, you see uh, some amounts there. This amount you are seeing there means they are selling $1 for at this particular rate. So someone is selling $1 at uh, 12 CDs. 29 uh 29 pesos if you go on and on people are selling it at different different prices so you just choose the one that is best for you now if you are if you want to choose the one that is best for you too you must also come down here and see the amount from which someone is selling it so here someone is selling it from uh he's selling his money from 500 ghana cities to 1200 ghana cities so if you have 500 Ghana CDs and you want to buy you, you can go in for this particular one, the first person. But I don't have the 500 Ghana CDs to buy right now over there. So what I want to buy is for something around 300 Ghana CDs. So I will check the one that gives me the chance to buy from 300 Ghana CDs. So over here, I've seen that someone is starting from 80 Ghana CDs. So the 80 Ghana CDs, they will be buying they'll be selling one us dollar for uh 12 cds 13 pesos so i'll go in for that one because i've seen that's the best choice for me so you take your time and go through and see which one is best for you so i'll choose this particular one i'll buy from this person so now i have to put in the amount i want to buy so i want to buy 300 ghana cities so after putting in the 300 ghana cities I will, you have to check the payment methods that are available. So I go through and see if there's any particular payment methods. So now I've seen that this person is saying we should pay with Vodafone Cash, but I don't have Vodafone Cash, so I have to go back. Let me go back and buy from a different person. So, so these are some of the things you need to know, guys. So, okay, so someone is selling from 200 Ghana cities, but is accepting um, MTM Mumu. So I'll go here and tap on this particular one. Now, if you pay attention to this person too, you will see that he gives some descriptions over there. He said, if you are using MTN uh, mobile money, if you, are, you want to use Mumu as your payment method, then you should just allow cash out. If you are using Vodafone, then withdrawal only. So... We have to check all these things before you, you know, buy your crypto. I'll be doing detailed videos about this. I'll do more videos about this so that you can get the explanation well. So for now, I'll just go ahead and tap in the amount I want to buy. So I want to buy 400 Ghana cities. So, uh, sorry, 300 Ghana cities. Then I'll send. All right, so after that, I'll tap here. I'll tap here and say make payment. So I'll choose. Now they've given options to choose between Mumu, MTN Mumu and Vodafone. 
Mumu. And the person's name has also come here. So you see everything uh, whilst if you are going or oh, whilst you are doing it. So, oh shit. So I'll tap on pay, make payment again and tap on Joseph Kwame. So now that I've tapped there, it's information and everything is here. So now that I'm through with this process, I can just tap on help. So if I tap on help, it will allow me to contact the customer or cancel the order I've made. So right now I want to contact the customer. So I will tell him that um, I've allowed cash out. So if he's online right now, you'll see this message and give me a reply. I hope he's online. So he has come online and he said I should send my number to him so I have to send him my Momo number so so I've sent my Momo number to him so now let me quickly go and allow cash out so so right now I just allowed cash out so He's supposed to, uh, you know, he's supposed to send me the message now. So now that I've allowed cash out, it's just normal. Just like you go in to withdraw money and all that. Like, it's the same process. So now you can see that the, it has popped up for me to approve that, meaning he has done it at his end. So like how agents... That merchants have been doing it so he has just do it the same way so now i just have to approve it here so okay so i've approved it so now he has to send me the crypto so i have to come here and tell them that i uh, just to notify the seller that i've transferred the money to him so So I told them that I've transferred the crypto to him. So now let's see what is going to happen. In most cases, if you are done, you should see a notification. But for me, I didn't see any notification. But if I go back to the home page, I will see here. If you check right here, you see that I have $24.39 over there. So that means that I've received my crypto successfully. So if you can also go to your wallet, tap on wallet right here at the down here, then you can go to your funding, tap on funding. If you tap on funding, you will see the amount right here, or you can also go down and see uh, USDT. So basically that is how it shows anytime you buy your first cryptocurrency using Binance. So guys, this is just the beginning and I believe this video has been helpful to you. If you find this video helpful at any point, just, you know, give it a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that this channel can be helpful to other people as well. I did one video on how to create and verify your Binance account and that video is going to be on the screen and it's also going to be in the description below. So you can take your time and check that video out to create a successful Binance account. Thank you for watching this video guys and I'm going to see you in another video.